This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! Rana was given permission to caress Rika-chan's head as much as she wanted, so they headed home together, very pleased. Once again today, it was just Mion and I going home. And I didn't know you guys were so sadistic. Oh, wait, no, I did know that. Keiji, it might be time to move again. If I was playing with guys, I wouldn't have been that strong. No, it's not fine, Mion! It's not freaking fine! You think I'm ever gonna bring this up again? No, this this dies with me. And you. <laughs> well, when she says it like that, we both smiled at each other. Oh, hey, bro! It's, it's good to see you again. You didn't see any of that, did you? It was Tomatake-san. Felt like I'd been running into him quite often. It's almost like he's stalking me. Tomatake-san suddenly leaned over and whispered into my ear. Uh-oh, he may have seen it. <laughs> oh, you know, play is gonna play. No, no. Play, players do not play. Players find one girl and, and cherish her. That's how you play the game of life. Okay, bruh. <laughs> because Tomotake-san let out such a crude laugh, Mio knew what we were talking about without even hearing his whispering. I wouldn't blame it. I mean, look at this. This guy's so cut. Like, come on. He's definitely got it going on. Like, if you're a girl, like, how, how, how could you not? How could you not want a piece of that? And he's got a and he's got a good job too. He's the whole package man. Mion seemed to really want to get rid of this lout quickly. From the way she spoke, it seemed as if Mio knew Tomatage-san quite well. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. Nice. <laughs> Man, your job is easy. <laughs> yeah. Mio, <laughs> I mean, it depends, it depends on how well you take care of your body. Uh, given how, what your physical shape is, bro, I think you're going to age splendidly. Uh-huh, oh, so funny. Oh, man, I have to go help my dad. Butter toast! <laughs> Tomotake-san began to take his leave with a dry laugh. It did look like he was outmatched by Mion. And he just... And then he vaporized. After waving a hand cheerfully, Tomotake-san disappeared amidst the cries of the Higarashi. That's not very nice, but maybe it's surrealistic. Well, that was... Maybe that, just because you're a little full of yourself. We've already seen him three times this year. The image Mion painted of Tomotake-san was fairly unique. The Tomotake-san I knew was more mysterious. The words flowed naturally from my mouth.
Neon stared blankly at me as if to say, Why do you say that? Like about that incident? The dismemberment? She agreed with me what I thought, but was quite chipper in how she said it. Mion was posturing pretentiously, but I had easily come to a very different conclusion from what she was imagining. It felt like all the apprehensions I had about Tomotake-san disappeared, lifting a burden off my shoulders. I was finally able to appreciate how clear the evening sky over Hinamizawa was. I exhaled everything in my lungs and inhaled just as much. It smelled like dusk. <laughs> we both continued to giggle, not knowing why. <laughs> I think Rika's parents might object to that. Oh, that's that makes sense actually. Because if Rika lost and had to do that, he probably just would have been like, "Aw, how cute." Just pointless chit chat. The hot day felt like it was being cooled down by the cries of the Higurashi. In case you forgot, you were watching hear Higurashi when they cry. New tips! Community notice! Thank you for giving me a notice about that. Achievement unlocked a fate worse than death. That's a very ominous name, but I mean... I guess fitting for the game? Alright. Community notice. Let's take a look at this. We're greeting the end of the rainy season sooner than in prior years. On this day, when it feels like summer will soon arrive, I'm pleased that everyone's in good health. The season for the Wakatanagashi is finally upon us. I believe the assistance of the town council will make this a wonderful festival. I also wish to ask for the assistance of everyone in regards to a few things. 1. Collecting bazaar goods. Villagers are welcome to put their wares on show at the well-received Hinamizawa Grand Bazaar Exhibition. Anything is welcome, from unconsumed gifts to used clothing. No raw goods, please. Management, Makino. Tell and phone number, redacted. 2. Recruiting Little Festival Drum Dancers. The renowned Little Festival Drum Dancers, group known for its careful choreography, the Shofu Society, is taking last-minute participants. We're looking for any showboat elementary and middle school stu uh, students. Management, Kimoyashi. Tell phone number, redacted. Free. Taking donations. We are accepting donations in multiples of 1,000 yen. For every 1,000 yen donation, you'll be awarded a refreshment stand ticket. Management. So Sonozaki. Telephone number. Redacted. Oh. Sonozaki. That's Mion's last name. We are always taking suggestions for ways to improve the festival. If you have an interesting idea, call Kimiyoshi at Redacted. I have a pretty good new idea. Spinach puffs. I've heard they're a big hit with crowds. There is a 200 yen refreshment stand ticket attached to below the cut line. Alright then. Intriguing. Uh, I think I can play for a bit more. Let's continue. A few days had passed since the incident. During that time, either Mion was busy or Rika-chan had to help with the festival preparations, so we couldn't get everyone together for club activities. Oh no! 
Anyway, even though I thought I would never want to participate again after the years it shaved off my life each time, not having it only made my heart grow fonder. That's called Stockholm Syndrome. And it's bad. I really am not honest with myself. Today, we finally had our club activities again. These weren't the same old club activities. It was called the Watanagashi Five Demon Firefight. And it was one of the biggest events in the club. Mom pulled out an old dusty yukata. Well, yeah, the 4th of July is also a holiday, but that doesn't mean you have to paint the whole American flag on your chest. I put on the same old vest as usual. Dad let out a loud, loud snore from the sofa. Manuscript? Hmm. Seems my dad writes for art magazines sometimes, too. I've never read it, though. I wonder if my dad is really a famous artist. That's our headcanon, at least. Honestly, even if you just display an American flag in your yard, that's fine. You know, July 4th. You don't need to go huge, but it is pretty cool to watch fireworks and eat uh, barbecue slash grilled food. As his son, it's a bit strange for me to say, but I can't imagine he's selling all that well. But he's able to feed a family of free, and my life isn't exactly full of hardships. Maybe he's actually a master painter, and I just never knew it. Uh-oh, it was already time! I didn't want them coming here, so I was planning on leaving early and waiting outside. Embar How embarrassing to have people come to your house. Hey, Rena. Why are you blushing just from meeting my mom? I met your parents when I brought Colonel Sanders home. Since Rena would continue to space out if I left her here, I grabbed her hand and dragged her out. Okay, well, let's not, let's not go overboard, Rena. Then why don't you do it right now? Rude. She waved back at me even as I was dragging her away. Hi, Mion. Hello. That's true. She's already a go-getter at, like, what, 10 years old? I don't know how old Rika is supposed to be. There's no way she's older than 13, though. That was kind of cute. We were already in high spirits with just the three of us here. Hey, this is cute. It was way more lively at the Fura Day Shrine than from last time I came, far exceeding ex my expectations. Wait, this is the same shrine we ate lunch at? <laughs> Fronds of people were crammed between rows of market stalls lined with colorful paper lanterns. Despite that, it was actually quite enjoyable. たぶん、ひなみざわの人の半分くらいは来てるんじゃないかな。それだけじゃないよ。近隣の町の町会や子供会も招待してる。そうだよな。俺たちの学校、あれしか生徒いないのに、今日は子供の姿がやたらたくさ
These two knew everybody we came across. Of course, I greeted them as well, but I still wasn't familiar with everybody yet. Aww, what a sweetheart. いえいえ。気に入ってもらえて嬉しいです。風間さんにもよろしくお伝えくださいね。よ。その先のお嬢ちゃんじゃねえの。今年も屋台担いで来てやったぜ。ぼっちゃん、太った。ミオン、ドン
how about we just enjoy the takoyaki? Mion, you seem like the girl who would just turn absolutely anything into a competition, even if it has no business being a competition. A standard in vendor stalls. The takoyaki stand. What was especially standard for these kinds of events is the fact that they were simply balls of dough. Takoyaki in name only. Just swallow them whole, you'll be fine. Wait, do they have mayonnaise in them? If so, ugh. Uh, here's Artie's hot tip of the day. Mayonnaise is kind of disgusting. Shots fired. The stall next to it was a shaved ice stand. It was still a bit early in the season for that, but... Right then, it didn't matter. <laughs> um, don't get brain freeze. Whatever happened to just enjoying life? It's shaved ice. Those stooges were too late! The moment they chose to tackle it head-on was their downfall! <laughs> Bruh! See, you're literally just taking the enjoyment out of the festival by doing stupid stuff like this. Next to that was another old favorite. A cotton candy stand. Cotton candy is the dumbest dessert. It's like, let's just take sugar and spin around. It looks fancy, but it literally is just tasting like you're eating sugar. Absolute disappointment. Zero out of ten. You want a speedy con candy? Just sh squish it all into a tiny ball and put it in your mouth and swallow it. Boom. Con candy is literally nothing but fluff. And in more ways than one. On Satoko's mark, Mion, Sataki, Sataki, <laughs> Sataki mushrooms, Satoko and I all compressed our cotton candy with our bare hands. The time it took to stick the whole thing in our mouths, three seconds. Rude. <laughs> Rika's the only one who has a brain right now. Rika-chan had also crushed it between her hands and stuck it into her mouth. Maybe not. <laughs> Here's the vein. If I were here, I would just be like... E I, no, I wouldn't even get the con candy. Are you kidding me? Con candy is so pointless. I would get... Honestly, all three of these few, few boots that we've had have kind of been disappointing. We better... Maybe... Do we at least have, like, I don't know, candied apples or something? Maybe that's not a Japanese thing. I think only Rena's cotton candy was happy with how it was eaten. <laughs> but it felt like we'd end up doing stuff like eat noodles through our nose contest or a human water pump at the goldfish scoop at the rate things were going. Why would you want to do that? If you eat repulsive stuff in our car, I win. It's like, no, you didn't. You ate something repulsive. That's losing. <laughs> you are a loser no matter what happens. I don't even know what that is, and that is too many adjectives. Shake, shake. Both Satoko and I shook our heads in unison. Uh, 
Rena's probably full right now. Rena's proposal was a godsend. <sighs> it's time for a sleeping contest. It was about time we played a different kind of game. It also seemed like neither Rena nor Rika-chan were any good at speed eating or gorging themselves. Probably because it takes all the enjoyment out of eating. Blue Hawaii is a cocktail. Um, they're all underage. I found Rika, I win. If I were Rika, I would just be it's me. We have the same idea. Mion and Satoko were dashed off madly, but Rika-chan and I calmly stayed right where we were. Both Rika-chan and I stood motionless for these few moments before Mion and Satoko returned. You know the true Chad move right here? We're like, all right, Rika, we found the cutest tree on the on the festival. It's like what? And then you just hold up a mirror to her. That's the Chad move to do. But I think we're just gonna be like, it's Rika. こういう形で直接対決するのは初めてだな。初めてしますです。いいかちゃん。あれで勝つつもりか。僕も部員です。勝つためなら。Rika-chan sneered to the best of her ability. You're on. Both Mion and Satoko came back, each with their own plan of attack stuffed into their arms. See, this is a game I can get behind. I really don't think you are, Mion. Where did she get those? They were all diamond-shaped tin signs. Uh-uh. Does it even rank? That's very understated. A little too understated, Mion. I used to see those stuck up on barbed wire fences. They were more nostalgic than cute. Can you explain what part of that is cute? But there were puffs of smoke noisily shooting out of Rena's nose and ears. Uh, almost like a steam train. I... I didn't get it. It was the hand-drawn poster from the Ladies' Society Roasted Corn Stall. It was a really bad sketch done by a housewife. An anthropomorphic roasted corn drawn without any real sort of plan. Its very existence invited a sense of sorrow to the viewer. Hey! What's wrong with poorly drawn corn? It was anthropomorphic. That's my favorite. Bleep! That was the sound of blood jetting out of Rena's nose. That's not how nose bleeds work! It seems to have been rated higher than Mion's. I really didn't get it. It feels like your artistic sense is a little avant-garde by about five eons. <laughs> I couldn't even begin to follow the way those guys were thinking. Did you and Toko both forget? If Rika-chan felt like it, she could simply... After moving back about ten yards, she began waddling up to Rena. Seeing that, both Mion and Satoko gasped. Too late! Rikachan tripped over nothing and lay motionless after falling down. Rena hurried over to her. Rikachan had a lump on her forehead and tears welled up in her eyes. Only her fingers peeked out from her sleeves. This was the vital part. The palms of her hands were covered by her sleeves. She just made a single sound. Me. Oh, brother. Rika 
Rana's face went completely red, her head bobbing back and forth with excitement. She embraced Rika-chan and began rubbing her cheek against her. Uh, weird. Come on, Keiji, do the Chad move. Do it. I'll just pretend the sharp stain of those words cutting through me like a razor was a figment of my imagination. Rikachan turned her gaze to me with a daunting smile as she was caressed by Rena, who was in full cute mode. Watch me. That cold smile was frightening, Rikachan. That's not a cold smile, that's a normal warm smile. Must be my imagination, but I see a demon inside her sometimes. It is your imagination. I passed in their pointed stairs. I pulled Rena, who gave no sign of canceling out of cute mode away from Rika-chan. <laughs> Pictures of cats. That would be hard to beat. Oh wait, baby seals. Baby seals are maybe the cutest fan. Also ducks. Rana looked very surprised as I pulled her behind the shrine. And then you go in for the kiss. <laughs> After a bit, I returned. Uh, you better not have. And after a bit of that, so did Rena, dragging her feet. I've never posted my real face on Discord, so if you've managed to track down my real face from Discord, then that's creepy. Mion and Satoko passed by me, heading straight to Rena. <laughs> For a moment, Rena was too dazed to realize someone was talking to her. He just gave her a hug, everybody. She needed one. <laughs> we actually just slipped her two twenties. <laughs> Run a little out of really long. <laughs> her eyes sparkled as she spoke. In the blink of an eye, Mion and Satoko's elbows smashed my face. It was my pet. I showed her a picture of a seal on the internet. Oh, I'm sorry, who was it who wrote as a punishment to strip? It wasn't me! So you got some real nerve calling me the pervert. A dark billowing aura flowed from Mion and Satoko. It was no good. They're going to kill me! See? Even they know seals are the real one. Rika-chan stuck her hand into my pocket and pulled out the keychain. Huh? 
恥ずかしいのでめったに人に見せないとも言ってますですよ。うん、ちっちゃくて可愛くて精一杯頑張ったって感じがとっても素敵だったよ。な、なんだ。Looks like someone owes me an apology。できるおじさんはケイちゃんの。I believe you guys owe me a festival food of my choice after trying to beat me up over nothing. They slung insults at each other and looked like they were ready to tear into each other at any second. I beg of you. If I'm in the clear, would you mind getting off of me? We were interrupted by the flash of a camera. Yeah, I mean, Hey, bro! Are you taking photos without people's permission again? It was Tomotake san. As I lay crumpled on the ground, Mion and Satoko continued to bicker above me. Rika chan was patting me on the head, and Rena was still in cute mode. It was probably quite a lively scene. It's rather poor etiquette to photograph anybody without their permission. <laughs> wow. Satoko dug her heel into me. <laughs> I hear the lady was cackling with the hatchet. Alright! 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 <laughs> That's her specialty. That's the problem with big cities, man. Tomotake san looked up at the night sky cheerfully. At that moment, even though he was smiling, I sensed a bit of sadness. Tomitake san, isso sume ba ijana isu ka? Hinamizawa. Tomitake san was speechless. Tatsuka ni fuben na toko desu. Mise mo nai shi, goraku mo nai shi, nani mo nai ka mo shire nai kedo. This town's dumb, but you should move here. Everyone knew what I was trying to say. Tomitake san was also well aware. So Rena, Mion, Satoko, and Rika chan. None of them butted in. Normally, I'm a really talkative guy, but in situations like this, I'm at a loss for words. Even though all this was happening in such a boisterous setting, it felt like all the background noise was fading into the distance. Tomotake san rested his hand on me, gently silencing me. Tomotake-san's smile was so slight, it looked as if it was going to crumple at any minute, but it was warm. Those might have been cruel words coming from a kid who didn't need to worry about working to feed himself. A hand touched my back. It was Rena. Hey, I was trying to be nice! Some people here haven't heard of that. The background clamor of the festival returned. It's true. When Rana smiled, the mood instantly got brighter. Also, you gotta tell me what gym you work out at. I mean, I think he's quite a bit older than us, and it is kind of a school club. That's a great idea! Or so I thought, but Mion had a snobbish look on her face. That honestly does make sense. Yeah, 
こんな旬を過ぎたご老体にこの私の相手が務まるんでございましょうかしら老快な大人の知恵を見せてもらいましょうですへへ<笑>俺たちの若さについてこられるかな Otage-san stepped back slightly at our audacious grins. Bucho, Sonozaki Mion no Nanioite, Mayo Shimin Tomitakeshi no Wagabue no Nubo Kyokasuru. Her words were quickly drowned out by the cheers. Nandai, Sono Bukats Tenoa. If you're if he's smart, he runs. Wagabue Adana, Fukuzat Kasuru Shakai ni Tayo Surutame, Kasdo Gotoni Tayan Sareru, Samazama na Jokenka. In other words, we're psychos. This is kind of weird because I, I think this guy's in his late 20s and this is a bunch of high schoolers and middle schoolers. Like, hey, you should come play games with us. Um, I guarantee, I, I guarantee you whatever photo you saw was not of us. <laughs> Neither Marty nor myself have ever posted real photos of us on the Discord. Ever. Of course, Rika Chan was the only one to give an answer that made sense. <laughs> Tomatage san got riled up and did a victory pose like he was ten years younger. That's perfect! <laughs> 